Good morning from Flamingo Land Resorts, where we're here for our first visit of the 2021 season. Charlotte's here. I'm here, it's been a while. <laughs> it has, you didn't actually come last year, did no, you? I didn't. I came and I didn't have the best day with operations. It started off very slow. And there is a reason why we've not actually visited yet so far this year, isn't there, Charlotte? Yeah, there's quite a lot of rides that have been closed. There is. When they actually reopened um, back in April, none of the big rides were open at all. And we thought, well, you know, you've got to make it you know, justify why you're yeah, coming here. Um, and we've paid 30 five pounds for a ticket today because we know that quite a few of the rides have now opened they've done a very staggered opening here this year which is a shame but at least they're getting things open again we've got hero to look forward to uh, along with that uh, velocity mumbo jumbo cliffhanger and quite a few of the other rides we know that kamali is going to be closed today that was advertised on the website it's not yet operated this season it's a shame but of course hopefully we'll be back at some point in the near future for discovering the mystery yeah <laughs> we've got we've the got mystery of something mystery just over here of the 10 inversions. <laughs> the 10 inversion coaster that is just over here. A lot of people have been commenting um, on the vlog saying, you know, oh, you know, what's happening? Just commenting on random vlogs like, what is happening at Flamingo Land with the 10 inversion coaster? Well, I don't have a clue. That is the answer to your question, but we're going to try and find out um, in this vlog. So, of course, we're going to get some POVs, we're going to get some off ride footage. It's a weekday, the holidays have just ended, so it should be pretty quiet, we're hoping, isn't it, Charlotte? Fingers crossed. Yeah, get some rides in. So, come and join us. We'll make our way down. Like I said, We've paid £35, it's quite a lot of money. It's actually one of the most expensive parks in the UK. So I want to make sure that we get in there and make the most of it. So come and join us. Let's keep on riding here at Flamingo Land. It's empty! Oh, here we go. We made our way into the park. Like I say, it's a weekday, it's a Monday. It should be pretty quiet. What time is this opening, Charlotte? Well, I don't know. There's a lot of slosh on the floor. <laughs> well, this is the first time you've actually seen this beauty here in person. What are you thinking to it? It looks really good, I just want to go on. <laughs> it looks really impressive. Now, we've come down here today, I was hoping we might see maybe a bit more construction work taking place. Bear in mind, it's nearly been a year since I was last here, and literally not a single thing has changed. Like, this isn't going to be opening soon, because, like, look, the groundwork's not even complete. I think this is confirmation it's going to be a 2022 yeah, opening here. I don't think it's going to open this year. No, I mean, there's been a lot of speculation. Some people saying, oh, it's definitely next year. Some people have said this summer. We've heard that work has potentially restarted but it doesn't look like anything has happened down here for quite some time um, which is a shame because it's going to be a very impressive ride for those of you that don't know it's an Intamin 10 inversion coaster that will feature lap bars it's a near clone of Colossus of course that's down at Thorpe Park however I've actually been on Altair um, which is at Cine City World in Italy which is this exact um, layout with the lap bars and it's a stunning ride it looks really good yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, I was thinking maybe they might have done some more repainting or something since it was last here. Because uh, obviously they started to paint some of the track up. I mean, you can just see it a little bit further down there. If I zoom in for you, they started to paint some of the track gold and also some of it grey just there as well, or silver, whatever you want to call it. But you can see it just down at the bottom there. But yeah, literally, this coast has now been standing here for nearly two years. And this coast has just got a bit of a rough history, really. The fact that, you know, it's a very old ride. The park bought it cheap. It's never operated. But yeah, the coaster itself was manufactured over 10 years ago, but it's never operated. It's just an unlucky ride. I like the yellow supports. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be keeping them, though. Oh, that's yeah, it looks to me like they're going to be black supports because if you look over there, it's a black support with the, with the gold or maybe grey. It's like they were testing the track. They've got a long way to go if they've got to paint all this. Oh, I know. Normally they're done on the ground painting as well. 2023 maybe. Yeah, you think so? 2023. But of course, we'll still keep all the updates coming here on Theme Park Worldwide. But yeah, I don't think this is going to be opening this year. Well, I can't believe it. We've come around the corner and in the queue for Velocity. Look at that, here we go. JCB Digger, breaking news. JCB Digger has just arrived on the site of the 10 inversion coaster. Still don't think he's gonna open this year though. Here we go, so yeah, we just joined the Cuban Velocity at the right time. We're up here, right at the front, aren't yep, we? We, are. we should get on the front row. Hopefully. It's had a repaint since last time you were here. It was green last time. Yeah, it was. I think it looks nice with the new colours. It's quite fresh. Yeah, it does. It matches the new coaster, yeah. but it isn't going to be that colour. But well, there we go. Look at this, Charlotte. JCB is on site. There we go. He is rocked up. Construction is ongoing here. Oh, you watch that support, mate. Oh, I thought it was going into it then. Right, we've got the GoPro on. Of course, on ride filming is permitted. Come and join us. First ride of the day, Velocity, Vacoma Booster Bike. Really enjoy this, actually. It's a great ride. Hey, here we go on the front row. Weather's not looking the best today, but it's not raining for this ride. So here we go. We've got a nice dry start to the day. And I can't believe that work's taking place, honestly. Big news, there's a JCB 
Oh, it's gone now. Oh, he's going. He's literally driving off. It's done, Charlotte. It is gone. Are you ready? Yeah. Great coaster this is. Really good launch coaster. And you get great views of the construction site. Whee! Honestly, what a way to start the day. Velocity. You enjoy that? Yeah, it was really good. Fantastic on the front row. And there's Charlotte on her actual motorbike just yeah. there. Freshly painted by well, last year. There we go, turn the little dials. <laughs> Lovely. Well, we've had a better start to the day than I did last year. If you remember from the vlog, it wasn't a good start. I kept going round to rides, do a break in. That was a fantastic front row ride. Love that. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It's great, and you get some awesome views of that 10 inversion coaster. Honestly, it's made my day the fact we've actually seen a bit of work going on over there. You know what's going to make your day? Oh, don't, Charlotte. We've approached a fantastic ride. Oh, what is that fantastic ride? Hero! Oh, no, honestly, like this thing is not enjoyable, but. It's got a walk-on queue, so I'm not complaining. Like, at least not having to wait an hour for the pleasure of it. So here we go. The Zamperla Volare, as it's called. I used to pronounce it Volare, but it's definitely about confirmation from Zamperla when I went to Iapa to the Expo in Florida. It is definitely a Zamperla Volare. So I've just been pronouncing it wrong. Volare. Volare. You've got to think they are an Italian company, so it's more like Volare, you know. Volare. Let's go. But yeah, it's literally, what, a five-minute wait up there? I'm not complaining about that, but I am complaining about this ride. But at least it's open. You know, like when you've come down here and it's already a limited ride offering, I would have been disappointed if these rides, you know, what had stated to uh, being open were closed. But at least they're open. It's a good start. We've already seen uh, Mumbo Jumbo going round over there as well. So I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. There's the pirate show to see as well. There's the zoo. So yeah, I think we'll just about make our money's worth today down here, don't you? Yeah. Right, let's go on Hero. Oh, God. So bags are going in and literally you walk just over to the coaster here. There you go, as it's moving, you just step on the good old Zamperla Valare. There you go, we're in position. Here we go, the music's building up, the tension, and we flip forwards into position. I'll tell you what, it's a hard one to wear a chest mounted GoPro on this, but I always try for you. I know you like to see the pain. Charlotte has kind of let me go on the uh, inner seat just here. <laughs> Are you braced there, Charlotte? I'm braced. We're on the outer seat, but yeah, you've got the rails just here. As you saw from the footage, literally you get on this thing whilst it's moving. I have to run. Who ever thought that was a good design? I don't know. It's probably the best angle I've ever got, actually, on my chest mount. It's probably not going to uh, stay in that position, like, when we get flipping around on this thing. Vortex down there, little Zamperla rocking tug, that's open. And this is Caravan Watch the Ride. And we get around this corner. At least it's a quiet day for us though down here today. Oh, JCB's back out over there. There we go, caravan watch. Whee! Oh. Hold on tight viewers, here we go. Oh god. Get ready for the pain. Whee! It's alright this first bit, it's when you hit this first corner, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, inversion number one, blimey! Oh! Uh, you're right there, viewers. Yeah. You're in the best place watching this at home. Ah. Ah. Oh, ah. God. Ah. Ah. We're okay, we're okay. Ah. Ah. And the worst bit's yet to come. Ah. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, oh, blimey. Ah. There we go. Oh. Ah. That's Hero here from Ingo Land. Lovely. The GoPro moved a little bit down, but not too bad for you. Like I said, it's hard to wear a chest mount on this Stop one. The by the way, hey, we've got some fans on with us. Lovely. Fantastic. Oh, it's always a relief when you get back here and know that you're still alive. There you go. 
Who ever thought it was a good idea to design that ride? Honestly, Zamperla, what were you doing? That was disgusting. <laughs> How was it for you? Well, as I was getting off, my hair was kind of like stuck and it, some of my hair's come out. You've got to be really careful, like if you're a girl and you've got long hair. Like yeah. if you're a guy and you've got long hair, like exactly. you've got to be really careful on there. Um, you know, that it get, doesn't get stuck in the, in the restraint. My shoulders are killing me. <laughs> I'm glad you took one for the team and went on the end. I took it for the team. Uh, honestly, on the inner seats, it's not as bad. It's still not very enjoyable. I remember years ago you saying that you enjoyed that ride. It wasn't too bad. It's okay on the inside seat. The outside seat, it's like, jum, 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 jum. It's not good. <laughs> Going on to a much better ride though now. Love this. It's mumbo jumbo. It's operational. So yeah, at least yeah, the rides that they stated were open so far which are good. open, which is your bigger coaster. So I'll spin you around and we'll get on this beauty. Love this. SNS Al Loco. Here it is. What an awesome ride. Made such an impact on the park when this opened in 2009 as the steepest roller coaster in the world when it opens. 112 degree beyond vertical drop, of course, that you can see. Just over there on the left hand side but yeah we're going to join the queue i think we got what two trains in action or oh, three is there oh yeah all three yeah over on hero it was only running the two trains i think normally they have four on there so yeah of course a bit of reduced capacity not too bad today but i'm glad we didn't come during the holidays really like the restraints on these of course not full over the shoulder restraints it's a little lap bar kind of over the shoulder there as well nothing too much it's not a full over the shoulder restraint and of course down this way as well you've got Kamali, that's the Vekoma suspended looping coaster. Normally I wouldn't be bothered that an SLC is closed. This is actually a really good one, but like I say it was advertised to be closed on the website, so that isn't an issue. Would have liked to have gone on it this year, but you know I'll be back down here now next when that new coaster opens. So if it's not going to be this year, it's probably going to be my one visit of the year to Flamingo Land to be honest. Um, you know, but let's hope that that coaster next year opens and uh, yeah let's hope Kamali opens soon in time for the summer holidays maybe because they really need that capacity down here not too sure well, this is looking quite busy yeah. yeah down a couple of ramps but we haven't waited too long for those yeah. the sun's shining at the moment so we'll have a ride because i really like this do you i don't like the restraints you're not a fan of them are you i, I quite like oh <laughs> you made a funny noise i don't like having the I don't like them. No, they've got a bit of movement, but yeah. I, that's what I quite like about it. Honestly, that noise, did you hear it on the camera? The boat just walked past and made a very questionable noise. But oh, well, in two, two ramps, I reckon this is about 30 minutes. Not too bad. Right, let's go and uh, get on. At least the sun's shining now. I've got my big coat on because it gave out heavy rain, but not too bad so far. Let's go on the SNS Al Loco. Here we go then, so we got a dispatch, we only waited just over 15 minutes. That is not too bad at all, like pretty reasonable operations down here today. Up we go, we're on the back road. Right there Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> I love this ride, it's so smooth, quite intense, enjoyable. Oh great view, straight round into that 112 degree drop, no messing, here we go. Whoa. Oh, we'll try and get a front row later if we can. Oh, a bit of sideways track. Whoa, and to the left. <laughs> a nice little stall before RMC made the stall a very cool element. Mumbo Jumbo was here first. Whoa. Whoa. Very smooth, very comfortable. That's Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, smooth. Oh, God, I say smooth brakes. Not until we got whacked in at the end there. There you go. Yeah, like I said, we'll try and get a front row later. One of them things at the moment with COVID as well. You know, you can't just ask for the front, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll try and get a front if we can later on in our day here at Flamingo Land. But yeah, we managed to do uh, the three big coasters there that are open. Quite good in the first hour. Yeah, and what? 
Right then, so we had our ride there over on Mumbo Jumbo. It was on the back row, like I say, but yeah. I really liked it. I'm not a big fan. It's not for you, is it, that it's one? It's not very comfortable for me. <laughs> you enjoy Velocity the best, yes. don't you? But uh, anyway, we've made our way around the corner now to get some food. We have brought a packed lunch today. However, we've got a couple of snacks too yeah. from the Coupland's Bakery. This is a new eatery that they've actually got down here. There you go. It used to be an arcade just over here. It's now Coupland's. This is like a proper Yorkshire bakery. What you got there? I've gone for a chocolate muffin. Look at that. It's actually quite cheap as well yeah like some bad. of the food here can get quite expensive but yeah you've got some of the food here not too bad and uh, got some cheese straws these are one pound absolutely love cheese straws so i'm gonna get these open and i'm gonna have one now i've never tried one. you never tried a cheese straw no. you like cheese as well no i've never had a cheese straw i don't really like cheese but you don't like cheese yeah i'm gonna have the cheese straws why not let's get them opened up here they are look at the texture on that like you look at it and think they don't look that appealing do they but honestly when you try these Oh yeah, honestly, they are delicious. Like the inside, they look nothing, but honestly, these are amazing. We yeah, have Coupon's Bakery down here now at Flamingo Land. But yeah, we've done well the first hour. We got three coasters in. We're gonna have a ride on Cliffhanger, the SNS Shot Tower, but uh, there's nobody about over there, and there's no signage, so we'll see what happens. But got me cheese straws, and we'll see if that opens up. Got some more rides, if not. So we made our way inside the hub now, this indoor area just here. You've got the car hanging up from the ceiling. And that's because we're going on Flamingo Land F1. So you head through the building just here and the entrance is just down this way. Nice little car ride, a powered car ride. Here we are then in the loading area for Flamingo Land F1. You've got the pit stop area just over there. It's quite a slow throughput attraction this one. Of course you've got the three tracks just down here. And that's the offload down there and this is the onload but what seems to take the time on this is bringing the cars down through this way to the onload you think they just you know keep on moving down this way but yeah it's quite a slow throughput attraction this one it's got some good theming over there in the pit stop area well to be honest i don't think most of that's theming i think it's actually a proper maintenance area to look after the vehicles probably but yeah it's quite a slow one so i reckon this is going to be our biggest queue of the day so far Probably about half an hour or so. But we may as well be going it. This one always seems to get a queue down here from Ingo Land. It's a good little fun family ride. Cliffhanger's still closed at the moment. Here we go then. So we waited about 20 minutes there. Yeah, just over 20 minutes. For Flamingo Land F1. Here's Charlotte. Hello. Hey, you look nice and cool eh? there. There we go. I do like the cars on this. There we go. Build with a bit of speed. Oh no, nice view over there of Hero. Not what you want to be seeing that, is it? But <laughs> Coupon's Bakery. So Charlotte tried the cheese straws, didn't you? That was lovely. The verdict is you loved them. Yeah, that was really nice. Honestly, the taste of them was great. Like a lovely walk. Yes, definitely. Cliffhanger, there's a member of staff over there now. So I don't know, we thought, wow, we might get one each soon. It's supposed to be open. And the fact there's some staff up there is a good sign. Oh, oh my God, that's not very really good. My horn isn't working, unfortunately. Charlotte's horn works, but mine doesn't. Great view when you come underneath here. Over there to Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, oh there's a queue outside Cliffhanger. There she comes. Hey. Yeah, there's a queue outside Cliffhanger, so I think it might be opening. Maybe it's a 12 o'clock ride. There was no sign out the front when we looked, but we will find out. Oh dear, we got a hold up around here. Oh no. Oh no, we've got, a, we've got a proper hold up. There we go. Oh, he's overtaking me. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Are you broken? Oh no. We'll have to just park up here then. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hang on. How do we break this thing? There we go. That's it. Oh dear. We've got a car down over here. He's broken. Oh no, it's an action. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is making proper noises. Yeah, I Give us a honk of your horn. Oh yeah, is your horn working? There you go. Oh, a horn. Hey. Oh, it's a long horn. Oh, this <laughs> keeps going. Oh dear, I can't help my horn. We broke down. Oh no. What's going on, Charlotte? We are broke down, here we go, we all remember staff just over here. We've been here about 10 minutes now, we're getting our uh, money's worth out of this ride. Yeah, he's just trying to restart it and it's not going anywhere, so hopefully we'll be able to get moving. I think uh, yours is alright on, on your side, but oh, 
There we go. The reset it. No, we've been about 10 minutes. Hopefully we'll be back in action again soon. Had a breakdown. We might get an evac. Maybe. <laughs> Here we go, we're back in motion again now. <laughs> Through a little delay. We've got Cliffhanger over there, the SNS shot tower. It's now open, probably gonna head on there next. Yeah, it's quite a good layout on here. You got the top section. It'd be nice if there's a bit more theme in. But I suppose it is an F1 themed attraction, so you wouldn't normally have loads of theme at the side of an F1 track. Oh, big queue over there. Suppose it just opening. Oh, I'm slowing down now. Oh, I think I'm too close to the one in front. Of course, you've got the sensors on the front. Probably speed up again in a moment. There we go. Going on around this way. Oh, try and turn it into the corners there, Sean. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, there is still quite a few rides closed down here. Kimali, Navigator that you can see over there, the Zamper, the Disco. They are advertised though to be closed. Um, along with that, you got the uh, the old cable car there, but we've also heard that that might be the end of its life here at the park, which is sad if so, because you used to like that. It's actually the old one that used to be at Alton Towers back in the day before they replaced it with the Skyride. Yeah, head round towards Cliffhanger. Oh, Flip Flop as well. Can't forget Flip Flop over there. Yeah, the Fabry uh, like gyro swing ride. I've heard that that's actually up for sale, so I don't think we're ever going to see that operating again here. Weird times for Flamingo Land, so I really hope that they can... Uh, oh, broke down again. I really hope that, you know, they can get themselves sorted out here because it can be a great park when it wants to be, but yeah, they really need to look at these operations and ride closures. Yeah, we'll head round towards Cliffhanger, get on there next before the, uh, the bad weather comes in. If it does, I don't know. It's not too bad at the moment. Where is she? Oh, she's back there. She's coming down in number two. That's Flamingo Land F1. A longer ride than we was expecting there. Shot break. Oh, well, we made it. And when we came back in, Charlotte had some jazzy music. Like, I had what's some going proper on? jazzy music. It was like, <laughs> there we go. Anyway, yeah, we've had our ride there on Formula F1 here at Flamingo Land. Like we said, just cliffhanger is now open. The queue is probably about 15 minutes, I'd say. Not too bad. We're doing okay though, aren't we, so yeah, far? we're not doing too bad. Not too bad, you know, considering everything. Like, what's advertised to be open on the website so far is open. Yay. And that's the main thing. So, yeah, come and join us for a ride on this SNS Shop Tower. It's themed to a lot. House. I quite like that. Fifteen minute wait there then for Cliffhanger. This is a good ride. This is a lot better than Ice Blast, which is a Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You ready, Charlotte? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Love this. You actually get some airtime on this. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready. Brace yourself. I love watching people's reactions on this from off ride. Hey. Get ready for that ejector. It's coming. Hey. Oh, look at all them caravans. Love it. What a great view. Oh, caravans all the way round. Oh, that was good. Now, of course, this ride can actually run a longer cycle where it comes to a stop about here and then it takes you back up to the top and then drops you down. It's not running that cycle today. I've not seen it on that for quite a long time now, so I don't even know if it's really a thing anymore, but it used to be, and that was really good because it was twice as long a ride, so you got that shot upwards and then got the shot blast downwards as well. But uh, there you go, that was all right. And the weather's actually staying okay today. I definitely didn't need this big coat on. Oh, look at a go. Ready for that airtime? Boom, brilliant. Really good that, so much better than Ice Blast down at Pleasure Beach. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's really good fun, isn't it? It is, yeah. We only weigh about 15. Yeah, it's not too bad, really. No, just thought I'd show you Kamali just over here. Kamali, here is the SLC. It's a great ride. It's one of the best SLCs. I really enjoy it. It's quite, uh, quite comfortable compared to some of the other ones. And of course, it has got a nice custom layout here as well. This wonderful banks drop down to the right. And yeah, it's a good layout. Unfortunately, it is closed. But if you would like to see some on-ride footage from this, of course, check out the vlog that I filmed last year here from Flamingo Land last summer and also as well we've got 
a separate POV on the channel from this wonderful um, SLC. It's a great ride. It's not very often I say wonderful and SLC together. But like I say, it is advertised clearly on the website that it is closed. Um, just to make you aware, if you are coming down here, check the website just to make sure you know what is closed and what is open. But of course, we're trying to cover everything in this vlog to give you a bit of an idea. In terms of how long it's going to be until it opens, I'm really not too sure. The train is over there in the station. Of course, it does only run the one train now. But yeah, the train is in the station. It looks like it's intact and ready to go. So maybe they're just waiting on a part. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's something else. I guess we'll find out in the near future. But I really hope they can get this back open. It's a good staple ride here at the park. And I do really enjoy it. It's really good fun, I like it. I do wish this part would just clean up some areas though. Yeah, some of it looks a bit dirty, a bit grubby. Like, look at this behind you just here. <laughs> like, there's obviously some foundation work going on down here, but there's parts of this park that look really dirty and messy. And you know me, I like to I like to stay positive with these things. These parks really need the support, but I do feel like here, how much does it cost to just tidy stuff up? Nothing. Tidy, it? it does need to tidy up. Like you look at all this down here, like camo netting. That used to be a really nice little restaurant down there. There were swan boats that used to be on this lake. You know, it needs a good clean up at this park honestly i'd just love to see it reach its full potential because this park could be something pretty spectacular if they wanted it to be because they do some things really well like some of the theming uh, like the pathways are done really nice as well you know um but yeah it's just a shame that there's some bits that uh, just aren't great unfortunately but anyway we've got uh, voodoo just over here nice little pirate ship so I may as well take you on now, we'll take you on with the GoPro. It's not a really intense one, this. But yeah, I think we're walking straight on. So yeah, go and take you on uh, on Voodoo. It's a nicely themed ship, this one. Do really like the look of it with the African vibes on this one. It looks great. Here we go then on Voodoo. Voodoo Donuts. <laughs> Sat right in the middle on this one. So we're not going to get that much of a swing. But we did get straight on, so I'm not complaining. No weight. Yeah, like I said, it's a nicely themed boat, this one. Got all the theming up the top there. There is Mrs. Voodoo Donut. Can't wait for some Voodoo Donuts. Get me back to Universal. Woo. Are you all right on this pirate ship? <laughs> we are on the middle seats, though. We are. Even on the end rows on this one, it doesn't swing too high, this one, to be honest. It just looks the part. And the fact that it's over the water down there as well. It's not going to be the cleanest water. It'd be nice if it was, you know, all clean and not a bit, uh, a bit minging water down there. I think up next, we're going to go and see a show. We're going to go and see the Pirates of Zanzibar here at Flamingo Land. Love a good show. It's normally quite good. It's got a few acrobats in normally. So we're going to head down there now and check that out. So just before we check out the Pirates of Zanzibar show, welcome back to trying to work out when Flamingo Land's 10 inversion coaster is going to open. Come and have a look at this. I feel like we're walking on the construction site around here, but uh, yeah, just around the other side now of Velocity. And of course, this here is the station building and also maintenance area. I mean, you can see the transfer track just here, of course, um, for that 10 inversion coaster. Come through that final inversion just over there. And of course, down through the uh, corrugated building that you can see. But literally, nothing has changed on this coaster for over a year. And I know that we've been in the global pandemic, but I'd have really thought that by now, would have seen this either operational or at least the groundwork taking place. But yeah, it's just an unknown point, this coaster. Like, when is it? Well, is it going to open next year? You know, who knows? Is it ever going to open? But I must say, parts of this park are looking abandoned. I mean, like, you look at this down here, you wouldn't even think Velocity was open when you look at it. There's weeds everywhere. You got this abandoned kind of restaurant just over here. I mean, look at the roof just there. Like, you know, just got pipes just kind of left down here at the side. There's even a, a, a kind of paint just over here. That's probably from when they painted Velocity up. I don't think I can get a 4 95 meal deal from over there, do you? Yeah, look at this. Here you go. Do you want some genuine uh, Flamingo Land Velocity paint? There you go. Get yourself down here. But yeah, honestly, it needs a good clean up, this part does. And hopefully when this beast does open, potentially next year, potentially never, who knows, uh, when they can get it open, hopefully it'll be a great ride. And all this um, is light, nicely landscaped and walking under the coasters would be quite nice. Honestly, it's got so much potential, this place. It annoys me seeing it like this. because It's got so much going for it. Um, but anyway, we're going to go and check out the Pirates of Zanzibar now, aren't we? Pirate show. I'm warm, I am. I know, it's 
I think so, yeah. I mean, we saw the show when we saw it for the first time, it was good. Yeah, it was really good the first time we saw it. And then last time. <laughs> it wasn't as good, so hopefully this time it's improved a little bit. Fingers crossed, because it had a big cast from what I can remember. Yeah, it was really large. Yeah, a really large cast there, so it had a lot of potential. Some good stunts, some bits of music, and yeah, let's go and check it out. It's down on the big pirate ship down by the entrance to the park. seen a few minutes of highlights there from the Pirates of Zanzibar. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was a good family show. Loads going on. 20 minute family show. Yeah, it was okay. Quite a big cast in there as well. How many did you count? I think we counted 11 in the end, which is quite a big cast really. It, it's brilliant to see more entertainment at the parks, you know, and the fact they've kept up the entertainment here is great. However, you know, I do find it quite weird and funny really how, you know, some of the rides can't operate but because of the budget. But they have a big cast for the show. I mean, of course, it's fantastic to see the performers out. Uh, 
uh, and the theatres and performers, you know, they really need the, the work, don't they, at yeah, the moment? They uh, well, all the time, but especially after the pandemic, you know, when there's been so many shows that um, haven't been able to go ahead at places and theatres closed and lots of venues. So it's great to see that they've kept the budget up for that. But you would have thought that, you know, oh, let's prioritise staff in the rides Definitely, and the yeah. shows kind of come as an extra thing. And um, that's how I would think it anyway. But it's good to see. It was a good family show. Not quite as many stunts and acrobats as before. Yeah, I kind of miss like the aerial mm. activities and stuff like that. Yeah, they had like all the jumping about and stuff is, before, yeah. like um, flipping over each other yeah, and that sort of really thing. Uh, but of course, you know, we are still in this pandemic and the fact they're still running a show here is good to see. You've got to think the fact they've got a lot of caravans and overnight stays here at Flamingo Land, you know, they need entertainment. And obviously on an evening, they have stuff going on for those guests too. So they've already probably got an entertainment team for that. Yeah. And then they utilize them uh, in the daytime for the Pirates of Zanzibar. I tell you what, reading some of the horror stories from half term here, um, you know what, I think we're having a pretty decent day. We're having a really nice day today. <laughs> I was expecting it to be quite bad today, I, I really know. was. Do you know what's going to make this day even better? <laughs> Go on, Charlotte. We're going for a ride on Zoom. Zoom! Zoom. I don't know why you call it Zoom, but Zoom. here we go. It doesn't look too busy actually at all. It's this nice little uh, family coaster, Zamperla, that you can see here. Zoom. It's a suspended family coaster too, so let's go and have a ride. We've just been back to the car, put our big coat in. It's so rain, <laughs> I'm literally waiting for it to massive thunderstorm or something now. Yeah. That would be just my luck, wouldn't it? Right, let's go on. Zoom! Here we go then. On Zoom. Straight on. <laughs> now we had a fan of the channel who commented on a Facebook post that I put on today who said they waited 90 minutes, or at least they saw the queue was 90 minutes for this last week. I won't queue 90 minutes. <laughs> it just shows how busy they've been getting, which is great to see the parts getting busy, but they definitely need to get them other rides back open ASAP. Zoom. Arms in the air on Zoom. Zoom. Got a little uh, mine train coaster down there. Woo! Hey! We thought we won't sit in together, like right next to each other. I don't know if we fit or not. Whee! <laughs> Zoom in the sunshine. Got the little planes ride down there as well. Quite a few of the kids' flat rides are open, which is good. Don't think the little monorail's open there over to the left. It's like they're gradually just bringing back rides and putting them online. Like I say, I have heard that flip flop could be the end for that, unfortunately. <laughs> Around the runway. What I like with this one is that it comes to a full stop. There we go. And you think, oh, that's the end of the ride. And then you get like a second dispatch. <laughs> you think, oh, that's it now. But no, you just send it again. Here we go. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at that view though, the new 10 inversion coaster. It will be a great ride. In my opinion, of course, I've done a clone of that Altair and it's a fantastic coaster. So in my opinion, that will be the best ride here at Flamingo Land and one of the best coasters in the country um, whenever that does open. Look at the view for it from here. Especially them final few inversions. Get a cracking view of the coaster. Worth pointing out the railway is still off at the moment as well. And the Lost River ride I think is off, but it's advertised to be closed, but the water is running over there. So maybe they're testing it, or maybe that's one of the next rides to come back online. I'm not too sure. I like how Charlotte's like holding on there, bracing herself. Zoom. It is quite rough actually on the corners. Like it's just banging about a bit on Zoom. But yeah, I think that could be the end of the road for flip-flop. Nothing confirmed, but a lot of rumours, a lot of speculation. Look at it, all the water's drained out. I think that's all for that one. So we just had a fantastic ride on Zoom. Now, because the Lost River ride is closed, I have sent Sean on the splash battle. And I'm going to try and soak him on the way round, and he's going to regret this decision. Oh, blimey, it's been a while since I've been on this, but the sun is out. And as Charlotte's just said, she sent me on the splash battle just here. Got some good theming. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, this volcano here, this actually used to erupt full of water, but my gun isn't even working, to be honest, is it? Oh, it's not even working, but I'm going under this water effect. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, my gun's not even working. Oh, no. Is that one? Honestly. So when he comes through this waterfall, he's going to get absolutely soaked. And I'm looking forward to that moment as he slowly approaches. Oh my gosh. As he approaches around this corner, I'm going to get a good zoom in on him. All right, what is the point in this splash battle when you've got no working gun? The button, I'm pressing it. Nothing is coming out. Oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. 
Oh, lovely. It's like Valhalla, this thing. Straight underneath. And... Oh! <laughs> These are like waiting to soak me over here, I can tell. Here we go. I'm going to spin you round. <laughs> Why not? Like, you're from Ingo Line. Like, and you get my money's worth. Nah, like... You pay £35 to come in, go get your money's worth. My gun is not working. No, no, no one's on these ones soaking me though, so I'm all right. But might get these soaking me now, I'm not too sure. There we go. I don't think their guns are working on that one. It's literally just like a scenic boat ride, like just through the uh, through the water here. At least the sun's out. Let's have a little shower, why not? Going right under this one, like there's no escape in this one. Oh, let me back, yeah. <laughs> there she is over there. Honestly, my back soaked. But yeah, there's no key for it. Like it just had to be done, didn't it? Splash battle on a nice sunny day. <laughs> yeah, not manufactured by Mac Rides, these splash battles, because as you can see, uh, you're on like a track. Is it a power coaster? Oh, is it a crow? Oh, is it a credit? Maybe so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like maybe it's a power coaster credit, but uh, yeah, I do prefer the Mac ones where you can't see the track, but he's got some good theming around. Just needs a bit of a, a clean up this one, I think, you know, and of course, the fact the guns don't work, is a bit shocking, but there we go. Charlotte's gonna uh, get me coming through here. Oh, no. oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the things I do to get my 35 pounds worth of absolute tripping, and the gun today even work. No, I was gonna soak you. So you want to come off? There he is. Hey. That is just my luck. That is honestly, I went on that. The sun was shining. And look at it now, the clouds are coming over. Look at my back, Charlotte. Oh. It's not bad, but I'm not getting a dryer. To be honest, it is 19 degrees Celsius today. It's not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna give Charlotte a nice big hug now. Get yeah. away. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I went on it now because the sun's back out and I'm absolutely baking. Yeah, it's quite warm, isn't it? <laughs> it now? is, it's all right. Like, we're not doing too bad at all today. Uh, anyway, going on the little runaway train coaster now because why not? We may as well go on it. And uh, yeah, I'll just take you along for the ride on there. Nice little family coaster. Fun fact for you if you didn't know already, I've probably mentioned this in every vlog from Flamingo Land, but this used to be at the American Adventure theme park over in Derbyshire back when I was a kid. Let's go on. Here we go, nice cheeky five minute wait there. And off we go. Oh. Straight up the lift hill. On the back row for this one. Well, there's Pterodactyl up there, that's coming up shortly. And here we go, it's a whippersnapper. Whoa! <laughs> Brings back their memories of American Adventure, this one. Whee! Oh my god! <laughs> hey! Honestly, the track profile on that. <laughs> Hilarious! Like, whoever thought it was a good idea to design it with all them little humps in and stuff. Wow, good old Dan Perla. Whee! Ah! Whee! <laughs> it's like a proper backyard coaster, this thing. Whee! Here we go, ready for the good profiling. Whoa! <laughs> what a ride. On the runaway mine train, everybody. Choo choo. Can we get a choo choo from the guys in front? Any choo choos? Nothing, miserable, here we go. Whee! Ah! <laughs> oh, you got a good few laps round. Woo! Oh! Is that it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a sharp break. There we go, choo-choo. No, still nothing. Oh, that was good fun, that was. Nice little family coaster. Unfortunately, the dino roller is temporarily unavailable at the moment, as you can see there one of those closed rides, but it is advertised to be closed. So I'm not too fussed the fact that, you know, they are keeping it nice and clearly advertised, but fingers crossed they can get it open soon. So we go on the nice big uh, wheel, shall we? Yeah, I've never been on it. Yeah, amazing. Another uh, American Adventure classic, this one. We used to look over the lake, but yeah, this is a really nice ride. It's got a walk-on queue. We're doing quite well for rides, actually, today. Really pleased, especially how we've heard horror stories. We thought we'd come down here and give it a go. But yeah, we're actually having a really nice day down here. And we're going round to the zoo shortly because what is the in the zoo, Charlotte, that you're looking forward to? So, I'm really looking forward to the kangaroos today. You were all expecting goats then, weren't you, viewers? But well, there is goats. There is goats, but the kangaroos are just something else. It's all about the kangaroos, so yeah, Charlotte is looking forward to it. Last year, the kangaroos were in a bit of a play fight, I think. They were having a 
fight and punch <laughs> each other. I, I sent you a, a little video. It was really funny. They were having fun and everything. Like, it was just play fighting. It was just but so funny. I sent you a little video. And obviously, Charlotte wasn't here when I came last no. year. So you're excited for the kangaroos. Yeah. So we're heading around to the zoo shortly. We'll do this, probably pterodactyl, and start making our way down to that side of the park. But here you get some nice views from up here. And our nice little chuck wagon. Here we go on the nice big wheel here in our wagon. So, yeah, this gives you a view across to the zoo just over there. You can see a cheetah just down there. You see him? He's just gone behind the support there for the, uh, for the cable car, the Skyride. Oh, there he is. Got a good zoom on this camera so I can zoom in for you. There he is, the cheetah down there, prowling around here at Flamingo Land. But yeah, you get some uh, really nice views across the park from up here. That's the Lost River ride that you can see just down there. There is some testing going on, it seems. Water does seem to be flowing down the trough, and of course, we've already seen that on the drop. So, don't think it's going to open today or anything, but maybe that is going to be one of the next rides to open here. If you look across to the back there, you can see the wonderful giraffe. Some of my favourite ever animals. A long time again just brings back them american adventure memories i tell you what i've certainly not been on here since the coaster went up look at that view oh i didn't even think about that from up here there you go what a zoom in oh i just seen velocity go in the background oh that is a pretty spectacular view of that new 10 inversion coaster unknown opening date but yeah that's great it looks awesome especially love the look of the uh, the two corkscrews there from here looks awesome so whilst we're here in Dino Stone Park, we're also going to have a nice ride on Pterodactyl. This is a brilliant ride, it's actually very thrilling. I absolutely love this little Starflyer attraction just here. It used to have a lot more seats on it than it does now, but here we go. This normally gets quite big queues, but from looking just from the big wheel, I don't think it's too bad. Maybe one cycle, and we'll be on Pterodactyl here at Flamingo Land. But yeah, it's only just gone two o'clock, like, we're doing really well for rides down here today. Yeah, the views from here are pretty stunning. So, of course, we've got the GoPro on, all chest mounted up. And we have some footage from up there on the top. It's pterodactyl. Oh, up we go. You have some great views from on this. It's a flat ride that Charlotte quite likes. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> hey, here we go. Going to dry off nice now from the splash battle. Oh, that breeze is good. You might not hear me much, but... Oh. Yeah, you can tell it's a nice warm day. It might not look that good, but tell it's warm. You've been on a splash battle and I'm not freezing to death on here. It's actually really nice. Woo! Great views across the park. Just shows how not busy it is today. I'm just really hoping next year we can look over there and see that coaster in action. The little spinning coaster down here that's open, so we may as well be going on there. The queue looks quite short as well. Here we go, then down from Pterodactyl. There, that was awesome. Everyone's a Twistosaurus. Now, this doesn't look like much, but sometimes you can get this spinning like a waltzer, can't you? Yeah, it's like a waltzer. <laughs> Honestly, we've had some really good spins on this over the years. Having a good day down here at Flamingo Land. Of course, you know, it's still disappointing they haven't got all the rides open, but I do feel like we're getting our money's worth down here today. And as you'll find out at the end of the vlog, we've done something quite funny today, haven't we, when it comes to uh, working out our value for money. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we'll keep you, stay tuned, and we'll keep you in suspense for that one. We'll do something a bit different to what we don't normally do today, just to make sure we're getting our £35 worth. But uh, yeah, see how much of a spin we get on here. Probably won't be on the next one, but the one after that, probably about a 10 minute wait maximum. Twistosaurus. Here 
Here we go then. Are you ready for a spin? Yeah. You like the trains on this, don't you? Yeah, it's like we're sitting in an egg. We are indeed. How excellent. Hey, <laughs> got loads of bad puns here on the bar all wide. Here we go. Up that booster wheel lift hill. Hey, are we going to get a spin? We've sat on one side, try to put all the weight in. I think that's what we did before, if I remember. Here we go. A lot's happened in the past year and a half, so I can't remember what we did, but here we go. Lean. Oh, that's it. Whee! Here we go. Honestly, you get a better spin. Here we go. You get a better spin on this than roll disco. Whee! I thought we did this. I was right. I didn't know if we were... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is how to ride this thing. Oh my God. By the end of it, you're literally flying through the station. You're right there. I can't look. <laughs> it is like a waltz. The best thing is we got three laps on this thing. What? Spinning up the lift hill. Three laps. Special Charlotte. Oh, I love the uh, the seagulls on your mask there. Mm. Love the mask. Here we go. Are we at the top of the lift hill yet? Honestly, it's going to get even quicker now. How can you forget this the last time? Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Round number two, lean in, lean in. Oh, oh we haven't quite caught it this time. Hey! Oh, we spun the wrong way. We want to be on that side this time. <laughs> it was a bit of a disappointing second lap, that was. Yeah, I think Charlotte's happy though. What did I say about the rain? I put my coat in the car. Well, that's it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought it was a three lap special. It's a two. Oh, there we go. First lap was good, though. Well, we had a good spin there on Twistosaurus. <laughs> I thought it was three laps, but no, it was just it two. Was two. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you the rides that are open down here in the Children's Planet section now. Wacky Races is open here. That's the little uh, vintage cars ride. And also Mischief Mansion, which is a nice little dart ride, actually. It's got quite a big queue, though, because it's inside and this outdoor section. But what they've got is a little traffic light system. Yeah, and it goes green when you can enter. Yeah, which is quite a nice little idea. Yeah. I've not really seen that in a theme park yet, actually. No, not. Yeah, so it's sort of mention that of course with the outdoor queue don't think we're going to ride there because the queue's so uh, pretty busy and it's nothing spectacular we'll just sort of mention the fact that it is here and it is open and it seems like all the rides down at this end of the park all the kids rides are open other than the monorail and this takes you down towards um, the other side of the park of course where mumbo jumbo is and the station actually is just by the um, f1 uh, area anyway we're going to head around this way now through muddy duck farm go and see the goats yeah i've just got some nice quaves oh how are very they machine, very cheesy <laughs> You, you can't feed them to the goats. I can't wait to the goats, but I'm excited to save the kangaroo. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head around the zoo now. So, of course, through Muddy Duck Farm, go see the goats, then make our way around, and we'll see the kangaroos and the various other animals here at Flamingo Land. I am not liking the look of that cloud, though. Well, I tell you what, this is the funniest looking reindeer I think I've ever seen. Here we go. It's not a reindeer, is it? Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, we've got the peacock dust here. Hello, how are you? Are you going to spread out for us to see today on this fine afternoon here at Flamingo Lands in Yorkshire? That's a no. Fair enough. No problem at all. I was waiting for him to just go vroom and open up then. There you go. Yeah, what a funny reindeer. Crazy. <laughs> I think the goats are just down this way. Of course, you've got the vintage cars that we're showing you just around there. Right here as well, you've actually got the Muddy Duck Farm tractor ride as well. So there's quite a few rides for the little ones here, actually. There's a good range of stuff. And of course, with the park located here, are oh, the goats located in Kirby Mispertum. And uh, yeah, right in the, in the middle of the village, this part of the park, that church there isn't theming. That isn't, you know, part of the park. That's a real church that's just in the village, the other side of that wall just there. Wow. There we go. What's the size of that chicken? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Massive chicken. There we go. Oh, we've got the rabbits down here as well. There we go. So yeah, we're going to have a walk around through the, uh, through the zoo now. Chickens and rabbits, they're good friends, aren't they? Good That's friends. A big turnip, isn't it? it is huge. I don't I don't think it's real, Charlotte. I don't think it's real. <laughs> yeah, we've got the goats down here. Not loads of goat activity down here. However, Hello. we've got this fella just over here. We can just see him. Oh, what's he doing? Scratching himself just there. There he is. Is he gonna come and see us over here? The African pygmy goats. Oh, we've got the little uh, little chicken. There he is going. He is he's off, Charlotte. He's he's gone. There's another one over there. Whereabouts? Oh, oh, he's hiding. There we go. He's coming down. Here he is. Hey, you're on Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Goat Park Worldwide. Oh, too busy munching. Oh, he's off to see his friend now. Yeah, he's going to emerge around the back. Hey, there he is. You're going to come and say hello to my girlfriend, Charlotte. She loves goats. 
Oh, I thought he was coming for you then. Big chicken, that. Massive chicken, I was spreading his wings. <laughs> now, last year when I was down here, love the goats, last year when I was here, um, they're actually putting this uh, carousel in place. It used to be located elsewhere in the park. Um, and then now they've put it down here in the little Peter Rabbit section. Of course, you've got the tea rooms just there, the mansion house. Some good food options here, actually. Um, yeah, you've got the carousel that was being put up last year. Used to be a small play area there. They took that one out. Uh, a couple of years ago, they built the new Peter Rabbit play area that you can see there just behind it on the left. And now you've got the uh, carousel down here. Now, I'm going to have to be really quiet for you to hear this one. But if you're listening in the background, any players of the old Roller Coaster Tycoon series, listen to this. It is actually the carousel music from Roller Coaster Tycoon. I reckon they just went onto YouTube and was like, carousel music, and found this. Listen to it. Honestly, it brings back their memories. Let's go and find some kangaroos. Here's a little look then over at the penguins down here at Flamingo Land. Loads of them down there, them ones are having a swim. Here they are all just trotting about. <laughs> oh, I do like the penguins. Got a nice big area here actually. I think the zoo at Flamingo Land is actually pretty good. Very nice down here. In a way, this could be a standalone attraction. I mean, it is over winter. Of course, when the theme park's closed, the zoo stays open um, throughout the winter. Naturally, it wouldn't be a trip to Flamingo Land without seeing some pink flamingos just over there. You've not just got those ones. If we pan over to the right hand side, look at all those. It would be a bit disappointing, wouldn't it, if Flamingo Land didn't have flamingos. So here they are. I think they should be down at the entrance, to be honest. So here we have some lovely kangaroos just lying there with a few twigs around his neck. We've got a few, well, we've got one over here that's like crouched down eating some grass. And this one's coming in and you, I think they're going to have a fight. I don't think they are. Last time I was here they were play fighting. They looked like they were so having a funny. funny time. I sent Charlotte a little video of it, but uh, you got loads of kangaroos down here. I love it when they go up on the feet. Are you going to give us a little uh, a demonstration or not? I tell you what, it's really hot now. Just standing here, it's absolutely baking. But here we go. Charlotte's come to see you. I just think they're too hot, to be honest. Like oh. la last time I was oh. here, I don't think it was this hot. What do you think to them? Do you like them? I like them, but... Oh, he's lying on his back now. Yeah. <laughs> I've ever seen a kangaroo fight. It's probably the most funniest thing I've ever seen. Because the proper go like this. <laughs> yeah, play <laughs> fight. Look at him. Look that at is him. like me. Back. After a day at a theme park, that is. I lie there, replying to all the comments, doing a bit of admin. You imagine that is <laughs> that is me viewing. Oh, there we go. Sean Sandbrook, everybody. Kangaroo form. <laughs> Honestly, that is me just lying around. Honestly, Charlotte, bring me some grapes. There we go. More grapes. <laughs> More grapes, please. <laughs> <laughs> there's kangaroos absolutely everywhere down here they've got a lovely big space though which is nice i like how he's just itching himself over there in the sunshine having a bit of an itch a bit of a scratch he's getting ready there to have a little uh, a little pounce there we go oh they are lovely i think charlotte's really liking these aren't you i like kangaroos oh look at that one there rolling on his back so like obviously we've got goats we've got seagulls now we've got kangaroos what order do they go in do you think well goats are at the top then you've got seagulls because of a bird seagull. And then we've got these nice kangaroos down here. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Skippy. Skippy the red kangaroo down here. Yeah, they are lovely. Right, carry on down this way in the zoo. But yeah, it's a great zoo round here. Really enjoyable walking round. Lots of space. We're on the monorail now. I didn't know if it was open or not, but no, yeah. It's just really quiet. Zoo monorail. There was literally nobody waiting. I think we started a trend, nobody started walking up. Yes. Here we go, yeah, another little ride. This is only a short little layout, but it just takes you down this part of the zoo. So yeah, they've got the two monorails, the one that brings you from that end to this end. That's still shut, but this one's open at the moment. And you get some nice views of the, are the monkeys are over there? I think so. Yeah, the monkeys, they've got red bums, I know that. So I'll Big spin you around. Massive, let's spin you around. You know me, love a good monorail ride, transportation. And here we go, we're gonna zoom in now to what Charlotte calls the emperor. That's the emperor. Just up there. Sitting there on the rock. It's like the Lion King without the lions. <laughs> they haven't got the lions here though, of course. A yeah, nice little zoom on a rail, why not? We're getting loads done here today. Like, we've still got time for some re-rides as well this afternoon. Pretty much done all the rides now. I had a walk around the zoo, we've seen the show. It's like three o'clock, so yeah, we've still got a couple of hours till ride close, There's which today one, is five o'clock. That's the Empress. This one. That one. They are nice, but yeah, they've got very red bums, haven't they, these? 
Really red bums. Looks like they've had a fall, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at him, there he is. Oh, running about, the little one. Oh. I can't believe how nice the weather's turned out now as well. Honestly, like we looked at the weather forecast, it looked terrible. Obviously, you have to pre book your tickets and everything at the moment, and we thought, wow, we're coming no matter what. But we're actually doing really well down here today. Done lots of rides. I'm enjoying it. You know, it's nice to be down here. So I think what we're going to do next is just carry on down to the right, have a little walk down past some of the other animals that they've got down here. Nice ride there on the Zoo monorail. Just thought I'd mention as well, of course, you've got the Sea Lion Show. Times are up there today, it's 12, 2 and 4. But yeah, I've got the Sea Lion Show available here to watch. But yeah, we heard this earlier on, the uh, cable car here, the old one that used to be at Alton Towers. This is the exact one that used to operate there. Uh, ride not operational this year. Of course, they got the signage out. We did hear that this ride may never open again, but of course, that isn't fully confirmed yet by the park, but we'll see what happens. But we know it's not opening this year. So who knows the future of this? It is a very old ride though, so maybe it has come to the end of its operational life, or it could be due to social distancing or other reasons, who knows? But uh, yeah, it's unlikely that we're going to see this open again from what we've heard here at the park. Same with Flip Flop, but you never know until these things are confirmed, nothing's 100%. Oh, you get a lovely view from the end of the platform just here in the zoo. Of course, looking out over all the animals and the theme park itself and the awesome skyline that they've got down here. Now, we spoke a little bit about the Lost River ride earlier on, the fact that it's testing. From here, you can just see the water there on the drop just splashing off the side. That's to the left there of the building with the wool sponsorship on the top. But yeah, not operational yet, but I reckon they're trying to get that sorted. The fact that it's testing, and I've not seen any boats go around yet, but yeah, the fact that, you know, the water's going up there makes me think that might be one of the rides that's going to be opening down here soon. Of course, you've got some of my favourites just over there. You've got the giraffe. That's the giraffe house, and you can go up on the little balcony there and see them from the inside. And you've just seen in the left of the shot just down the bottom there. Got the zebra out just down here as well. I like zebras. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. With the black and white stripes, lovely. But yeah, I think that's the good thing with the Flamingo Land Zoo. They've got big enclosures. Like you look at this here, nice big areas to walk around. And that seems to be the same with all the animals here, which is really nice. I much prefer this to uh, than the likes of the Drayton Manor Zoo. Um, I think this is really nice around here. Yeah, it's nice and spacious for them to walk about and stuff. And it's well looked after as well. Like the grass is nicely pruned. Which it is. is good. All the bushes around the outside are nicely cut. And the animals look quite happy, which is nice. And even like the, the bridge that we walked over here, it's all nicely nice. themed, isn't it? Which is nice, you know, like you walk onto this little platform, you know, it's like you are, you know, in like the savannah, you know, and they do a good job of it all. Yeah, it could do with a bit of a pressure wash in places, but uh, in general, I do think the zoo here is pretty good standard. Here we go, it wouldn't be a visit to the Flamingo Land Zoo without coming to see the camels just over here. Looks like it's that time of year now because it's getting hot where the skin is starting to come off or they're taking it off themselves. Of course, so they don't get too hot. That's what it looks like to me. I've never seen a camel in this process before, but looking at some of the, uh, some of the fur that's on the floor, and that's what's that happening. One. Look at all this like fur <laughs> over oh, I do like the camels. I've been on a camel out over in, uh, in the UAE in Dubai. Do love a camel, that, that's big humps up there. Look at him, oh, you're right there, mate. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, oh he's smiling, he wanted to be in the vlog, didn't you? I say you can go back down now if he wants. Oh, oh, he's off, he's oh. going for it. He re oh, wow, amazing. Oh. oh, it's like me and you, that is Charlotte. We're going in for the kiss. Oh, oh. isn't that nice? Do you like them camels? They're a bit scraggy. Scraggy? They're a bit scraggy. I think that's what they're doing there. I think it's because of the heat. It's the time of year, isn't it? I'm sorry for that one because he's like all his furs over his face. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a standard thing that they just all the fur oh, comes off. Love. Oh, oh, it's like me and you. That is Charlotte. Aren't they nice? So here we have the white stork. I'm going to show you some facts now. So the pairs of white storks will strengthen their bond during courtship through an elaborate series of movements and vocalisations as they clutter their upper and lower metabols together and they produce a loud machine gun like rattle. Thank you Charlotte. She spent weeks rehearsing that fact, haven't you Charlotte? Yes. Absolutely weeks, definitely not on the uh, on the signage just down here. No. <laughs> Never, but there you go. Our journey around the zoo has nearly come to an end, but yeah, we had to come and see the white stork, oh, didn't wow. we? What a wingspan. White stork, everybody. It's actually a really impressive water ride, the Lost River ride. I do like it. I mean, the big finale drop here 
is awesome. Like I said, unfortunately, it isn't open yet, but the fact they're testing this here does make me think it's gonna be in operation here soon at Flamingo Land Resorts. So just before we do a couple of re-rides then to end our day here at Flamingo Land, just come to see the cheetahs, and he's literally just stood up right on cue then, then because I've come and stood here on the truck. Beautiful animals, look at those. Yeah, they added the cheetahs in here a few years ago into this space. Yeah, really nice. Like I said, I think the zoo here is great. All the rocks, the theming, and of course the size of the enclosures being the most important thing is great. Normally you can go inside this truck just here, but I think it's all closed off because of COVID restrictions. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a couple of re-rides now because we've literally done everything that we wanted to. We certainly had our money's worth, I think, today. But we have heard horror stories about last week, though. Like somebody said uh, Mumbo Jumbo was three hours. Oh, it's a long time. The pirate ship, uh, that was an hour, somebody said. Yeah crazy it's a so really plan your days out at the moment so i'd either wait until everything's open before coming if you can't come on a quiet a weekday or at the moment just just hold off you know and if you can really come on a weekday weekends i think are very very busy they look a bit like goats they do don't they, they? Do look a bit like goats look at the little baby <laughs> look all the giraffe over there as well oh i'm running for you oh look we've got like six giraffes over there oh they're amazing look at my neck brilliant here we go. Yeah, we're going to get a couple of re-rides in then now. So going to uh, do Mumbo Jumbo. If we get on the front row, I'll take you on again uh, and have another ride on Velocity as well. May as well make the most of it. I didn't think we'd be doing re-rides today here at Flamingo Land, but uh, things have planned out well for us. Here we go then. Only a 10 minute wait that time. And this time I'm on the front row of Mumbo Jumbo. Here we go. Didn't think I'd be getting re-rides today. No Charlotte on this one. She's sitting off. Woo! Always there for the POVs on the front. And what I love about this, like I say, you're straight off the lift hill. No messing around, here we go. Within seconds, you're going down that 112 degree drop and boom, woo! <laughs> oh. oh, it's such a good ride. I love it. Whee! To that stall now. Ah, oh. <laughs> bit of airtime going into that. Beautifully smooth inversion. Ah, oh. into that overbank and into the sharp brakes. Oh, oh, there we go. Front row mumbo jumbo. Yeah, ten minutes. Brilliant. Can't complain at that. Straight then from another ride there on Mumbo Jumbo. Everyone's a cliffhanger, we're on the other side then now. So I thought we'd get a nice view of the 10 inversion coaster and a coaster that I don't really like to talk about. Hero! <laughs> oh, yes. Also nice view down there, the cheese straws. Coupland's Bakery, <laughs> cheese straws. Oh, there we go, what a great day. Really enjoyed it actually today, but our money's worth. Yeah, good view of Flamingo F1 from up here as well that we broke down on earlier on. And you've got the little diner down there. Quite a lot of these restaurants are open on an evening for people staying in the caravans, of course. Gonna have one more ride over on uh, Velocity, or maybe we've got time for a couple of rides on Velocity. Probably my favourite out of the rides that are open today. It's one of my all-time favourites, to be honest. Until that 10 inversion bad boy opens up. <laughs> the back row this time so i thought i'd bring you on again for a final ride on velocity well we have time to get another one in as well may as well make the most of it but thought well i'll bring you along again with the pov because we're on the back row it's a great coaster this i do like it yeah it's really good fun you match the uh, the color scheme of the coaster I do, <laughs> literally you're wearing the red just there red. here we go i like it on the front row for the view but...
<laughs> oh, there we go. But uh, no, what an awesome day we've had down here at Flamingo Land. We really made the most of it. Going to do a couple more re-rides and we'll wrap up this vlog. Right then, had a few rides there on Velocity. Yes, it's very good fun. Oh, just to wrap up the day here at Flamingo Lines. Yeah. But just before we do the wrap up, just want to show you something, don't we, Charlotte? So, this is what we've been <laughs> doing today, tallying up our rides that we've done. <laughs> a bit so, of fun. I've done £54 worth of rides, and Sean's done £67 <laughs> worth of rides. Literally, just a bit of fun. We've put like a, a monetary value to all the rides. Like, the zoo, £8. <laughs> just to work out how much money worth is that. I mean, Mumbo Jumbo, the big coasters we put down there is five pound don't we yeah. just off our own backs they don't cost that to ride no, just you know working we just it out like to know how much value we've had in the day we paid 35 pounds we don't normally do this but we just thought we'd show you it so yeah we show you we've had our money's worth here today worth we've done that. re rides and uh, that's been the main thing but you know what charlotte i'm going to make a promise to you now and all of the viewers what? i'm not stepping back in this park until that thing behind you is finally open Get it open <laughs> Honestly, I'm not doing it. Next time I walk into them turnstiles, I want, I want to be on that thing. But no, in all seriousness, it's been a good day down here at Flamingo Land. There's still some very serious operational issues at this park. Seeing Kamali sat there, the Lost River ride, um, of course, Flip Flop and a few other things. It is sad, but yeah, I do feel like it's been worth making the trip today. Yeah, it's been worth it today. We've had a really nice day. We have, in the sunshine. We've made the most of it. To be honest, I thought the weather was going to be bad. I thought the operations were going to be bad. I'm um, looking at some of the other parks today, and we were filming this on the Monday straight after half term. Look at some of the other parks, they are really busy They've today. They've had like 100 minute queues, they yeah. really, really busy. So we're really lucky today to have had a, a decent day crowds wise down here. It's been pretty quiet, the weather's been good. Um, like Charlotte said, we've had what, oh, 50 something pounds worth of yeah, rides. We've had that much worth of rides. <laughs> when, you, when you work it out like that, just for fun, like just for fun we with do that. We do, for fun. We do. I mean, how much is this bad boy worth, do you reckon, behind oh, us? I think this might be an eight pound. An eight pound? Honestly, when this is open, I do feel it's going to be the best ride in this park. <laughs> And I say when it opens, I think it's going to be 2022. You've got to think this ride is still going to have a lot of testing. It's going to be painted. It's going to be themed, landscaping. Uh, there's a lot still to do on there, but fingers crossed they can get it sorted. Along with that, I really hope that they sort out the other rides that are closed. I don't think it's going to be too long before Kamal is back open. Hopefully. And same with the Lost River ride. I mean, we saw the trough um, testing with the water there. I don't think it'll be long. If you're coming down here this summer, I hope you have a great time, but just be wary, you know, and really plan your day in advance to make sure that you come on the best day you make can sure do. Make sure you get it early as well. Yeah, arrive early. I mean, you know, it's literally just going five o'clock now. We've really made the most of it. I didn't think we'd get anywhere near this amount done. Yeah. Yes, there's some serious operational issues here still. And the park certainly doesn't have the most friendly of atmosphere, should we say. However, I do feel like, you know, once this coast is back open, they can sort the other bits, they're going to be on to a winner. And I really hope that, you know, this park can get back on track. I feel like it's a bit of a roller coaster journey for this <laughs> park. I've always enjoyed it, but they've gone a bit off track. Let's get them back on that launch track. You know, let's get them moving forward. And most importantly, get this 10 inversion coaster open because it'll be awesome when it is. But there we go. Thanks for joining me and Charlotte. Action Pat vlog this one, the zoo, the show, uh, lots of so different much. rides, POVs. It's been a good day and an epic vlog. So thanks for joining us. And that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you in the next vlog